Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Michal from Poland. I'm here with Chris, aka Rude. Rude! He's on the UK and today we're going to be reacting to top 10 places to visit in Poland. Yes, so a bit different this time. Obviously not music, not history. We thought we'd, yep. we'd branch into some other stuff. We've actually got some other stuff as well in, in the pipeline that, that we're going to be filming this weekend, which we hope you guys are going to be excited for. We're not going to tell you what it is yet, but we've got some new content coming. Um, but yeah, we, we saw this video. We saw it, we saw it was quite popular. Um, yeah, we just, we just wanted to have a look, and also, I, I want to see if we've been to any of these places in yeah, to see to see if say. we can be like. Well, I'm sure I'm gonna know most of them. Yeah. Um, see if I've been to any. But I've been to Poland three times. Hopefully, I've been to, to somewhere on this list. But if not, then there's a more reason to go back. No, All right, let's go. Let's go. What's up, guys? My name is Ryan, and I want to show you some of my favorite places in the enchanting country of Poland. So here is my Polish yeah. top <laughs> ten. <laughs> Poland is home to some of the world's most stunning landscapes. From the medieval old town of Gdansk to the towering Tatra Mountains, Poland has so much to offer. Let's start this video off at the impressive city of Krakow. <laughs> now this may be one of my favorite Krakow, cities in wrong, all of Poland. Located in the southern part of the country, Krakow was founded all the way back in the 7th century. He's going to keep saying Krakow, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. What did you say just a second ago? Because I didn't hear it. I said he, I said he said it wrong. Oh, okay. And then he said it wrong again. It's just it's how English speakers pronounce it usually. Yeah. There you go. You've been there, though. Uncultured swine. Um, I was born there, guys. Fun fact. In Krakow, or were you yeah. born in Brzez in Brzezko? No, Brzezko. I lived in Brzezko, but I, I was born in Krakow. Ah, oh, fair enough. Entry. So you best believe it's full of beautiful history and architecture. Now, one of the most impressive sites is the Wawel Royal Castle. It was built no, during see, the. No, this is what's annoying for me. I went here on a stag do with just a bunch of British people yeah, so who just wanted really, to drink. So yeah. I didn't get to experience the history side or anything like that. So I'd love to go back again and actually do stuff like this because I feel like I was robbed. <laughs> I feel like I went to the square and stuff like that, but I didn't get to experience yeah. this stuff, you know. 14th century and was the first UNESCO Rilled Heritage Site. It features architectural styles from the medieval, renaissance and baroque periods. Now from the castle, you can make this short 10 minute walk to the main square this dates all the way back to the 13th. Was this, was this, this building here? I yeah. I swear so it wasn't there when I was there. <laughs> what do you mean, bro? I it's swear like when I was walking through it. Like maybe I didn't building see building in the middle. Maybe of the there were so many people. I mean, this is mad that there's no one there right now. Yeah, I don't um, know how this is shot during the day as well. Maybe it's a morning, like really early in the morning or something. Yeah, probably. Or COVID. It could be COVID times. To be fair. Um, that would make sense. But yeah, I remember seeing this. I remember taking a picture like here. And of this bit here, but maybe I was just like not paying attention to this build massive building right in the middle of the square. 18th century, <clears throat> and it was the largest medieval town it squares in all of Europe, which is pretty crazy. I mean, it's just fascinating to think of all the history that took place here. Now, in the corner of the square is the St. Mary's Basilica, which was built back in the 14th century, and it's a perfect example of Polish Gothic architecture. Another interesting feature of that's, Krakow that's cool. is the coast. You've been there? You've been there? Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that looks pretty sick. Yeah, you just get a nice view of every, every, everything around. Random, like, hill of, of, <laughs> yeah. of dirt. Chusko Mound, it's an artificial hill that was modeled after other prehistoric mounds in the city. It was built in 1823 to commemorate the national hero named Tadeusz Kosciuszko. The mound is 112 feet high <coughs> and there's a serpentine path that takes you to the top to enjoy the panoramic views of Krakow and the Vistula River. Krakow is just such an amazing city and I hope you all can visit. After Krakow, we're going to head to the Tatra Mountains. Now located about a two hours drive from Krakow, the Tatras are a stunning part. mountain range that straddles the Polish and Slovakian border. He's definitely going to talk about Morskie Oko, which I've been to. So he's, uh, I'm sure he will. The, these look pretty cool. Huh? These look pretty cool. These. Is, yeah. this, is this a town there or something? Yeah, yeah. Um, Zakopane. Zakopane. We should go there one day. Mm. The best town to access the Tatras is Zakopane, now located right at the base of the mountains. Zakopane is the perfect starting place for your mountain adventures. During the winter time, Zakopane uh, is an ideal cool. place to go skiing, and in the summer months, it's a prime place to start your hike into the mountains. One of the most impressive spots in the Tatras is the Morski Oko Lake. You can make the 16-kilometer round-trip trek to the scenic lake. I mean, just such a phenomenal view up there. 
An interesting fact is that the Tatras are the smallest alpine mountain range in all of Europe and they're home to plenty of wildlife such as the Eurasian That's brown bear. Sick. I just love how the Tatras look. They have such a unique and jagged look to them and I just want to go hiking them this summer. Now if you're into World War II history, mm, you can I've visit the Memorial them. of Auschwitz. Have you been in it? Fun fact. Well, maybe not a fun fact. <laughs> Bad timing with the yeah. Um, I haven't been here. <clears throat> and I might go this time. Right, so I'm going to Krakow in three weeks, guys. And I'm thinking to, to go to this. There's There's been so many times where I was meant to go to this, but because I was on like a fun holiday, mm. I didn't really want to be like, oh, let's now go to this. No, I think it is one of those things where it's not. It's not necessarily. It's it, obviously it's not fun, but it's one of those things that you should see. You should see, yeah. Um, and I might do. It but weeks. also another fun fact: we've got a friend who's from the town this is in, right? Isn't it? So, yeah. as you used to tell me that that she would wake up and you could see Auschwitz from your window, from your bedroom window, and I'm thinking, ima imagine that you're waking up to go to school or something, and you just see this out your window. Like it's it's pretty. She great. must have lived close by. I, I don't remember her saying that, but yeah, she comes around. I think here. she said that to me. I'm pretty sure that's what quite she said. often. Of Polish friend, but cool. Concentration camps. This is located about an hour's drive from Krakow. Yeah. Now Auschwitz is infamously known to be one of the most horrific Nazi concentration camps. Over 1.1 million people died here. One of my favorite books I've ever read is called The Auschwitz Escape, and it tells the story of how two prisoners made their daring escape from this concentration camp. Now after, we're gonna head to there the northern part Sopot, of Poland hey, to visit hey. Sopot. So now we located been, right on the Baltic Sea, places. Sopot was established in the 8th century and grew as a commercial trading post and fishing village. Over the centuries... So what what's crazy about Sopot is, 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 I'm sure you guys know, but the difference between Gdansk and Sopot was insane. Like the modern, like how modern Sopot was compared to Gdansk. And we rode on scooters for an hour and a half, the little oh, electric Sopot, scooters yeah. along the beach from Gdańsk all the way to, to no, Sopot. Yeah, I don't know, it was the other way around from Sopot back to Gdańsk. Um, we got stuck in some, remember we got stuck in some weird like industrial park as well. There was, yeah, I thought I was going to get robbed. But um, yeah, no, it was really cool. Sopot faced adversity as it was abandoned, burned, and then rebuilt. But in the early 19th century, Sopot started to gain popularity thanks to its spa and public baths, and it quickly became a holiday resort town. Today, Sopot is a thriving tourist attraction, or there you can take a walk on Europe's longest wooden pier, or you can enjoy the swans and endless. I remember, I was like, yeah, it's the longest wooden pier, like, I was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then he's like, "Oh, it's got to be something. That's the best." Yeah, thing. it's got to be something. Poland, top, top Poland, top, top, top number one, number one. <laughs> Sandy coastline. Now I understand why it's called the Polish Riviera. Now after Sopot, we're gonna head over to neighboring hey. Gdansk. Located just a 15 minutes drive from Sopot, Gdansk is one of Poland's oldest cities with a fascinating history with periods of Polish, Prussian, and German rule. The earliest mention of Gdansk was in the year 997 AD, and during the Middle Ages, Gdansk grew as an important seaport and shipbuilding town. Hmm? Just realize what you said, 997 AD. Is that what you said? That's over a thousand years old. Mad. And that's when it was first mentioned in history. So I imagine it's, it might have been even before that. That's crazy. It rose to be one of the wealthiest and largest cities in Poland until Warsaw's rapid growth in the 18th century. Today, Gdansk is one of Poland's most beautiful cities. I mean, I just can't believe it's old town. It's full of these perfectly placed houses that seem to go on forever. Another really cool feature that I like about didn't Gdansk- Did we stay somewhere near here? Didn't we? This kind of looks like where we stayed. Yeah, we walked along. Yeah, yeah. I remember this, this, bit, yeah. this bit. I think we walked down here. Do you remember? And I oh, think, I'm yeah, and, the, and, the, and this bridge over here, it turns. Do you remember? Did you remember? Yeah, it turns yeah, when yeah. boats are coming. Yeah, was it that one? I think it was yeah, that I think one. Yeah, I think it might have been that one. Yeah, it was, but, it was definitely around there. Yeah. Is how the canal runs right along the old town. It's often full of ships and it gives the city such a fun vibe. While you're there, you can just explore the streets of old town or take a walk along the That's canal. The old crane and just such an incredible city. Now, just an hour's drive we from Gdansk is we the went Malbo to, Castle. I actually went to so many of these places on this. I, I can't believe it. Yeah, we've also been here as well, um, but it was close to. Be yeah, it was, we couldn't go inside, but I remember we were chilling in like the what are they called the battlements or whatever. One the, of the towers. Yeah, because it, was, it raining. was raining. Yeah, we were just chilling in the. Yeah, but we did the see all around it. Yeah, right. yeah, it was good. It we was, still got to see it. And did, and didn't we go? But like, the, and there was a shop selling like old beer and stuff like that. I remember I, remember I bought yeah, something yeah, for my yeah, dad yeah. or something. 
Castle in the world by land area, which is pretty crazy. It was built in the 13th century by the Teutonic Knights, who were German Catholic Crusaders. And as the number of the knights grew, so did the castle, which encloses an area of 52 acres. I mean, it's just crazy to think that people were able to build such buildings back then. More than half of Malwork Castle was destroyed during World War II, but thankfully it was rebuilt to its former glory. Now after Malbork, we're going to head over to the Mazurian Lake District, located in northeastern Poland on the border of Cal- I've not been there, but I know a lot of people that have. It is a place that- what place? Places, because it's quite huge, as you can see. It's, yeah, it's quite a large area. Yeah, quite a large area. I'd like to go, uh, but I haven't been. See, on the there. map, it doesn't look- like, you can see a lot of tiny lakes, but I, f I expect them to be huge. This one looks quite big, but- Yeah, there's a lot though. It's quite north. I feel like we've been so- well, I've been here- here and then and crack off down here but mm. yeah I need, I need to go to some of these side cities like yeah. Kalingrad. This lake district is one of the most visited lake districts in all of Central Europe and it's home to over 2,000 lakes. It's a perfect place to go sailing, fishing or just swim in the lake. I mean I just can't think of a better place to go on a hot summer day. Now aside from the lakes the area is full of beautiful forest perfect for hiking and exploring. The Masurian Lake District is definitely a hidden gem that deserves a visit. Another scenic place for nature lovers is the Pianine National Park. Now located in both southern I've Poland and northern Slovakia, Pianine is one of the oldest and smallest national parks in all of Poland. I mean, I just think it's such a beautiful area. The river runs right through it and it acts as a natural border between Poland and Slovakia. Pretty sure I've been to this exact spot. Yeah? On a hike, I don't know. It was one like one of these mountains. I remember looking over the top of this. I need to, I need to do some of this, man. I, I I didn't know Poland had these like insane places like this. I know it had some beautiful locations, but this th this looks like something that I'd imagine in like some Canadian or American national park somewhere. But it's actually, it's actually just in Poland, which is kind of mad. Yeah. Slovakia. The national park is home to Oy. many animal species, such as the Eurasian lynx. I think is like one of the coolest animals ever. One of my favorite features of the park is the three crowns. The rock feature is made up of five sharp limestone peaks that create quite the sight. Now another beautiful nearby spot is the Nieditsa Castle. This 14th century castle is located just a few minutes away from the park. I mean this whole area is just incredible. Now after we're going to head over to the beautiful city of Wrocław. I mean it's such a tricky. I've also been there but um... <laughs> I had a friend go there recently, actually. Literally, like last month, he went to Roswell. Yeah, this is probably a city would be good to visit. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this now. Well, for a while now. It seems like a lot of the stuff that's on this map, though, is like it, a lot of the beautiful locations seem to be right down by Krakow, like just above Slovakia or wherever it is. Um, yeah, a lot of national parks there. and stuff around there. Yeah, not a bad area. Uh, but yeah, this this city. Some people say this is the best city in Poland and stuff. So really, yeah. We should go, man. Eat pronunciation. Now, located in western Poland, about a three hour drive from Krakow, Wrocław is such a charming historical place. My it's guy gets Wrocław, but he can't get Krakow. <laughs> to one of the most beautiful market squares in all of Europe. It's lined with elegant townhouses this and This just looks like Gdańsk to me. Yeah, it looks think very of, similar, to be fair. Yeah, like, I remember, like, literally, for, I'm looking at this thinking, if, if you didn't tell me this was Wrocław, I'd think this looks like Gdańsk. Just without, like, the tower in the distance or whatever. Mm streets. Wrocław also has one of the most beautiful cathedrals in Poland. It was originally built in 1272 but has been damaged and rebuilt several times throughout the centuries. I just love its double spires. Wrocław is just the perfect place to just walk around and explore for a day. Now for our final destination there we're gonna is. head to Warsaw. Look how different Located that is. Hmm? Did you see that? What? Look at that. Yeah. And then look at that. <laughs> it's mad. Isn't it? It's crazy. Like they, they were just like forget bricks. <laughs> we're just gonna build everything white and grey. Um, which in some ways I feel like this kind of looks nicer. I don't I don't know what you what you think. It it, it depends. I, I like modern. Yeah, it depends whether you enjoy the modern. I feel like they both have have good parts to each other, but um, yeah, you can see the difference is crazy. Final destination, we're gonna head to Warsaw, located on the Vistula River in East Central Poland. Warsaw is the capital and largest city in the country. Warsaw began to grow in the 16th century when the capital was moved there. It was called the Paris of the North, but sadly, Warsaw was damaged extensively during World War II with over 85% of its buildings in ruins. Thankfully, today it's a bustling capital with a population of 1.8 million. One of my favorite buildings of the city is the Palace of Culture and science at 778 feet tall it's the fifth tallest building in the eu 
The crowning feature of the city is Warsaw's Old Town. It was established during the 13th century in and its full place. history and medieval architecture. Like the main part of the city, the Old Town was almost completely destroyed during World War II, but it was miraculously restored. We literally walked in here. I remember yeah, we walked yeah. into this bit from, from like out here. Yeah. And then we and then we were gonna go up this tower. Do you remember? We literally walked in through that yeah. door there. And, we, and we, we were gonna go up this tower, but the person but they they wanted cash. We can yeah. pay a card. Yeah. So uh, you've been here as well, mate. And was made a real heritage site in 1980. When you're there, you can just explore the square and marvel at all the history that took place in this medieval old town. Well, that is it for my Poland top 10. Let me know where your favorite place is in Poland in the comments below. I also started a relaxation channel where I post hour-long films with calming music to bring some peace and nature in your life. I'll be doing a film on Poland very soon. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram at Shirley.Films. It's Ryan, yeah, and we will guy. see you later. Cool. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Shirley Dot Films. Go follow him and all that. Yes, exactly. We'll we'll Thanks link the, the this video in the in the description below. But yeah, I mean it's a pretty good video, and I feel like it's been it's surprising how many places that I feel like yeah, I've been, been to Poland three times, and I, I feel like I've been to like six. Out of I the... do feel like this was a very general video from him. Yeah. So he included like the the main spots. There's so many different like hidden gems. Yeah, there, there that probably that is. There probably is in, like, but they're they're probably in like ran in places that not a lot of people go to and stuff like that. Yeah, Whereas. Yeah. You know, if you just say, yeah, it's in the top left corner of Poland, it's probably going to be quite difficult for people to be like, oh, I'll, I'll go on a holiday location there or something like that. But yeah, good video. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, obviously, we can't give a rating um, of the video. or well, a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Um, for each place. For each place. But yeah, guys, let us know what you think. Let us know how many places in, in here you've been to. I know a lot of people, I know most of you live in Poland. But um, it's like it's like me saying I've been, I've been to everywhere in the UK. I definitely haven't. I've been to a handful of places, but... Let us know how many places that you've been to. Put sort of out of ten, how many places in on on here you've been to? Because I I yeah, like yeah, to see. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, put out, out of ten. Of 10 I'm pretty sure I've got like to. five or six out of ten on this list. Yeah, um, something like that. And you've probably got more. You've probably got like seven or something. Yeah. Um. So yeah, let us know, guys. Put it in the comments and let us know if there's any other videos like this or any other videos about Poland at all that you'd like us to react to. And as always, guys, stuff like guys, I subscribe by Prasha Zinkoy, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.